So welcome back aliens. In this video we'll talk more about list. So in the last few videos we have talked about list a lot, right? We can add elements in that and we can perform some operations. So this is syntactic syntactic sugar which we have the syntax where you can uh, mention the method name without the dot operators, right? We have this object here we are saying drop without using dot operators. So that's fascinating for uh, Java programmers because we don't do that in Java, right? So what what else we can do here? So let's uh, so let's say we have this list of uh, list of values, right? Where you have all integers. I mean, is it possible to put some values and a different type of value? Example, true. So now true is not uh, uh, it's not uh, what you say. It's not number, right? So four and six they are integers, but true is not an integer. Then how it will work? So if you run this code, you can see, uh, okay, there's something wrong. I mean, there, there are lots of bugs here. Let me remove this stuff. Okay, yeah, so you can see we are getting a list because if I mention a list of numbers, if I only use a list of numbers, it will return you a list which is int, right? So it's detecting that you have all this four, six, five, they are numbers. So it will return you the list of int. But as soon as you add one more value here, which is true, now that's a boolean type, right? So we have integer, integer, boolean. So it creates an array of any value. Now what exactly it means? Because when it comes to Java, what we normally do in Java is, let's say if I create an array, when you say arrays dot as list, uh, you can be, you have to be very specific here. I mean, you can have an array of numbers or you can have, uh, you can have an array, let's say if I say four comma, 5,8, it will work, right? Because it is integer. But as soon as I write a true here, now there's something wrong because it returns you, so it returns you the object, I mean, it, it, it returns you the list of objects. You cannot put it integer here, so you have to put it object, right? That's what we have learned in, uh, uh, in Java. In fact, if you put 5.5 here, that's a double, right? So this is, this is integer, this is integer, this is double. So instead of having object, we can also write, I guess we can also write number because, yeah, so because integer and double, they both, they both uh, are the subclass of number class, right? So this is in a hierarchy, right? So if you, if you look at the hierarchy here, so this is the Java hierarchy. So we have data types. So on the top, we have object and then we have primitive, we have non-primitive. So when it comes to string, array, those are non-primitives, right? And all these classes, they actually extend an object class. The same goes for Boolean, character, integer, floating point. In fact, we use double class there. So these are wrapper classes for you. And then we have, so normally, uh, not this is not the exact class names. Uh, this is a different thing, but we have classes which extends object, right? I, I hope you, you're getting what I'm trying to convey here. Example, when it comes to integer class and double class, both extends number. Right, so if I go to integer class, so if I go to integer, and if I jump to integer, you can see it extends a number class. It, same goes for double, right? So that's the hierarchy for Java. But when it comes to hierarchy for Scala, we have the topmost hierarchy as any. So we don't have object there, we have any. So any has two things, any val or any reference. So if you talk about primitive types or, or, or the classes where you can store data, like Boolean, char, uh, integer, all those stuff, they belongs to any val. And when, when you have collections, classes, when you have your own object, uh, that's a part of any ref. Okay, so this this is something different in, uh, in Scala compared to Java. Uh, not very different, but it is something which is new. Okay, so that's how you specify the hierarchy here. So when you specify a number and a boolean value, it will return you the value which is uh, which is any value. But how about if I put a string here? So let's say if with this true, I'm also putting a string like Naveen. Now what will happen is we have numbers, we have Boolean and we also have a string. So it, it returns you any because as per the hierarchy, you can see we have a number, we have a Boolean type and we also have a class object, which is string. So it returns any because it ha we have to, you have to specify, you have to be, uh, I mean, what do you say? You have to be, uh, you have to add up everything, right? So it is any. So that's how you can work with uh, the, the Scala type hierarchy. So that's it from this video. We have talked about the type hierarchy with list of elements. So thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe to the channel because more videos are on the way.